maybe a boy, after finishing school, will come back and take care of what? The child. So most of the times, there are only girls who stay home to take care of the child. I'm a woman, 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 I'm a and the involvement of young men in terms of HIV, HIV and AIDS. The problem has been maybe access to maybe the productive health services for their people. We find that most of the health centers or the health facilities are very far. There were a number of challenges, mostly uh, could accrue that to the distance between the schools and their homes. So it's like some other girls were forced into safe boarding. There's, uh, there's indeed a training need. For example, in our program, uh, we are just implementing this by reading the documents that we, we got from our colleagues in Manza. Because of the activities that they are doing, there are some girls, some girls who dropped out because they were either pregnant or because their parents encouraged them to get married before they reached the age of getting married. With the motivation that these girls are having, like sharing the experiences, sharing stories, real stories, real life situation stories, most of them have been motivated to go back to school. Yeah, that's one of the areas which government is concerned. That's why you find that here as an office of means. We have got a strong component on the youth reproductive health so as to ensure that these things of reproductive health issues, the youth know them very well, so as to avoid, to avoid issues of early pregnancies, early marriages, so you can see the government is committed very much for the young people in Malawi. <laughs> having women group discussions at the beginning of the project. Many women, when they are by themselves as women, they openly say, yes, we are, we are, we always, uh, sometimes to, to have sex, you have to get a beating first. Just for no, 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 no really viable cause at all. And uh, in general, uh, men would get drunk, come home and then they would beat their wives. Or even a simple thing as maybe I've come back from the garden, food is not on the on, food is not prepared yet, then you get a beating for that. So cases of violence were quite common. It is the grandmother who takes care of the children. And normally in our society, men don't like to take care of somebody's what? Child. So if they are marrying a girl who has already what a child, they only take the wife. Not the wife, the child, which is grown to another what, man. That's what you mean happen. So we'll be looking at uh, uh, early, early sexual maturity, uh, multiple sexual partners, even for the married people, 
uh, prostitution was the <laughs> program, the project area in Chirazu was on the border on the edge of a, a major trading center where young women would go, you know, to sell sex privately and get money and we couldn't rule out prostitution as also another factor in the community. To me, I feel like when we are trying to, to empower these, when we are trying at least to talk to these girls, boys are supposed to be taken into the board as well. Because if we only talk to our girl, what will happen if they will go outside? They will meet men, they will meet boys who are more powerful than these girls. So the girls will be defeated easily. But if we talk to the males, and talk to the girls, it means we'll be going together as a result. We'll be fighting of some of the issues we are talking about because we are dealing with the right now, psychology field. Men, or I say boys, felt like they are being sidelined. And for a many people who are going to go to the house, many people who are going to go to the house, many people who are going to go to the house, many people who are going to go to the house, many people Kapena arendo akabuira tima aranti la baji chifuwa mui na mwana sama ziwa zoti murendo akabuira tima tiki tibangi na ichi chifuwa mui na takuira arendo mui na ra police mungo fikira kuga atenga ndani amaya kuti kuti buira ni akuli sa chifuwa fikira kwa manga deti ma apunzi sa kuti mugwe nira muga ona arendo atabuira maronjeri maafusi kuti kodi mui unomuze la chani. Boys and girls, they are different in terms of how to receive messages. The girls are more receptive than the, the boys most of the times. Uh, those are the challenges that the teachers, they already know. And the, it's going to be discussed with our project staff on how best this can be handled. The out of school youth, we like mobilize them using the already existing youth clubs. You had in the communities, in our areas of intervention, where they already had youth groups or youth clubs and still at uh, the entry point was still the the community volunteers and also the traditional leaders capacity is very very important it's one of the challenges where the volunteers or the youth club, youth club members or peer educators get because we oriented once at once per year maybe at the beginning of the year, you have a, a certain training. I remember when we visited one school, we were talking to the to the girls as well as to the boys. Are they okay to have a mixed group? They indicated that they don't have problems because they feel like some of the challenges that the girls are facing, they are come they come because of the boys. It's the same boys who are bringing problems. So if they are able to work together, share those challenges together then the boys will also be able to understand what the processes that the girls go through and they will be able to appreciate that they really need to respect the girls. So they, they said it, it's a good idea if they can be working hand in hand. The time I was coming here, it was 2018, the program was not yet in. Maybe we would have, maybe 10 to 15 girls dropping out from school. Let's talk of last year. I'm giving you a recent example. Because of the discussions that they do have, because of the program that they have, we've seen that there is a decrease of the level of the process. Last year, we may have put in two issues, or if I can remember, well, maybe one game was in the community, which means that there is what? An impact on that one. We are, we are, at least, it is helping us a lot, that was what I'm saying. The young, young people's uh, awareness, awareness raising activities, the gender-based violence campaigns, and the discussions happening with the women, all together, they also started to raise even the openness. And the men, they would also start to feel, oh, if I do this, probably 
tomorrow I might find myself being exposed. In schools it was like the mobilization was easy just because you, you go through the head teachers and the matrons and you introduce the concepts and uh, they invite the girls and also introduce that uh, to the to to the girls and uh, uh, advise them or let's say put forward maybe the modalities on how they can form the closed groups so that they can discuss a number of issues so to them they felt like it's one of a uh, very exciting extracurricular activity those leaders are supposed to formulate their own what groups at now school level maybe nine to ten girls per hour, per hour. and the, we don't take much time to interfere them just because we want to for them to be working freely in their groups where they can discuss their issues freely if they have a problem it's when they come to me as a matron for me to assist them there is ownership because these girls they are in school they like in secondary school here in malawi they are supposed to be in secondary school for four years after a period of four years, these girls, they will go out of secondary school. They will go into their respective communities. Some of them will get married after Form 4. Some of them will continue with their education. But still more, they are belonging to a community. So these sub-branches, they are there, they are still existing. And these out-of-school groups, they are also still existing. So when they move out of secondary school, they are already joining these out-of-school groups. So it's like a continuous mm. process. They feel like they enjoyed it when they were at secondary school. Now they are out of secondary school. They can still continue with the group. Omaso ave kalari ku school kuja. Ava tisimu ya ukeze kena watu kwa sumeneza manganizu. Kumano mene kunangu kaza kisila kelo kumini. Tikona ngati kuzambi zimezi zikutamu kuja. Sure. We do talk. Though we know that at school we are not giving them condoms. But uh, we give them a chance for those who cannot abstain. We have got a, oh, that is your friend at our hospital there. On their free time, they can go there. If they know they cannot resist the, the, the sexual thing, they can go there and have their condoms on their free time. That's what we emphasize. We know they, are not, or they cannot maybe all of them abstain. For those who cannot, they have to visit the hospital and find some good ones. Most of the times the programs do not continue because people always think that a program can only work when there is funding. When there is no funding, they feel like they cannot do anything on their own. That is why in this program we involved the branches so that they should continue after uh, phasing out of the project. Malawi is largely a Christian country and most Malawians are also Christians. And uh, the even government also wants to promote one partner uh, single partner. And I hope that these programs can go into at least most of the districts so that in the day the impact is felt. We know resources are limited to everywhere, but we believe some youth may have this in line in these programs. Hopefully not they will also be involved. We know, we know there is media, radio talking about these things, but sometimes if the programs are implemented at a grassroots level, I think young people, particularly in the rural areas, the future for, for this concept, I think it could, it could have been better or maybe in the future we should consider institutionalizing this concept at Red Cross level mm -hmm. so that the Red Cross branches, they have the, uh, the, the capacity to continue with the, the initiative. Hey.